YouTube, it's Brian again just coming at you today with another uh, fish room uh, update slash tour video just wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's been going on and the changes and additions and stuff I guess that I've made since the last video so um, I will uh, go ahead and take you through all that uh, before I do that just make sure that you guys uh, check out all the links below to the members of team aquatic support and their YouTube channels and make sure you go over to the aquatic support community Facebook page and get involved in that it's a real fun group and uh, yeah um, so without further ado I'll just start over here at the two four foot tanks right when you come down the stairs to my basement we'll start off with the red devils um, we have got a pot full of wigglers there try to zoom in a little bit this is um, a few days old spawn. Uh, they should be free swimming I would think tomorrow or the next day. So that's what we've got going on there. Being very protective as you can see. Um, I've got some spawn that I, or some uh, fry that I kept from the last spawn uh, that I'll show you a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so that's going well. Um, I'm really digging these red devils. Um, as you can see I've just got two in this 90 gallon at this point. And uh, the others I'll show you in a little bit if they're if they're not hiding in the tank that they're in. But um, this guy is just really aggressive and he's, he's a fun fish and obviously they're in protection mode there. But down below we got uh, the big Holga Boomerum. And as you can see behind the pot there is um, also a My Devil in there. But uh, this guy has really been coming into his own lately. Um, you know, for the first several weeks that I had him, he, uh, his attitude wasn't the way he used to be. Um, if you remember him from Mike Mann's old videos when, when uh, before I, I got him from Mike. Um, but his attitude's really been coming back now, and he's, he's been really fun. Uh, fun fish to interact with and stuff. Um, he's just a beast. Really like this guy. And he spends most of his time trying to kill this uh, this guy behind here, but so far he hasn't been able to do that. So, so yeah, he's doing well. Take you over here. These are the um, the uh, Magnus babies that I got quite a while ago. Um, these are F1 Rio Magdalena Umbies. Got some uh, real nice looking ones that are growing out pretty well in this tank. I've separated one. Um, it was kind of the best looking one, but now this guy here, or girl, is starting to really show some promise. So um, these guys were just fed a little bit ago, so they're all fat and happy. But uh, these guys are getting big. At some point here soon, I'm going to have to uh, figure out what I'm going to do to thin the herd. And uh, But in the meantime, um, they've been fun, real fun to work with. Um, obviously, some are growing quite a bit faster than the others. And they're, some of the bigger ones uh, really like to knock the, uh, the intake off of the marine land filter over there. Down below is uh, the tank where the Hogas are, um, or the, my original Hogas. Got them divided right now. Um, he continues to beat her up right as they're getting close to spawning. Sorry about all the algae, but uh, just living with that now. You can see she's healing up decent uh, from her last beat down. Um, she's still got a big chunk out of her dorsal there. He's over here doing well, looking well. A few bacordi in there, um, and there's a red devil back there, and a 
red devil here and one behind the pot you can see anytime you look down there you'll see that red devil's eyes looking through the hole in the back of the pot oh well, now they just moved but I had done the hole in the divider trick and uh, all she did was continue to go through and go over and hide behind the pot that you remember in my prior couple videos that's kind of her hiding spot um, I don't know if my last video I mentioned this but she did lay eggs in this pot and either they didn't get fertilized or whatever some flip switch got flipped and the, the eggs did get eaten after a couple of days so so right now I'm just kind of letting these guys chill out and we'll reintroduce them together at, at some point so then we got these guys over here this is uh, Triton and Pandora I don't know what they're doing one minute I think they're gonna spawn the next minute uh, he's beating her up pretty good you can see she's a little rugged here um, they've been spending a ton of time in this pot over here keep thinking the time has come and then nothing happens but um, that is kinda her history she's been known to do that in the past um, I've got the hole in the divider going on right now um, because he was pretty aggressive with her every time I would take the divider out um, once I did the hole in the divider trick she would come over and they've gotten to get along pretty well to the point where um, a few days ago I did take the divider out completely they were doing great and did a water change um, and he flipped on her and really started chasing her around and kind of gave her these uh, latest scars you can see on her, on her fins here um, so I put the divider back in and she kept going over there and they're getting along just fine again now um, so we'll see um, got a few Bacordi in this tank and uh, one of the My Devils and the other one right here. Um, so um, it, it seems like the extra fish in this tank have kind of helped them to kind of bond a little bit. It seems like they're kind of protecting this pot area from all the other fish. Um, so I'm not sure if that's really the case or not, but that's kind of what I'm going with. Um, below we still have the uh, Gorillas Umbies. This guy's getting pretty big, getting to be a beast. You can't really see him. He's up in the shadow area right now and there's a glare, but um, sorry about that glare. It's usually not that way down in the basement because there's no natural sunlight coming down here, but anyway, she's over here. She took a pretty good beating from him the last time that they spawned. Um, I've been putting the divider in basically after every time they spawn because he ends up beating her up afterwards. This time I didn't catch it in time and all the eggs were lost in addition to her getting beat up. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I, I may not have them too much longer. I'm not sure. I really like the way he looks but I don't know that I want a pair that I'm going to have to constantly keep divided. You see a few fry swimming around back there from the last spawn. Or there's one. Um, I separated out a few and the rest just didn't make it. So um, up here we have got another um, real Magumby F1. This is Thorson. Um, this one is from if you followed uh, Mike Mann's videos for quite some time um, he had a fish a while back, a couple years ago now, called Thor, uh, an umbi, wildcat umbi. And this is from Thor and uh, one of Gage's females, because Thor is now down at Gage's place. Um, this guy's a real stunner. Really digging him. And then this one seems to be a female. This came out of the Magnus baby tank over there that I showed you before. And so I've got her, well, I think it's a her in here, and I've kind of temporarily named her Maggie to kind of show um, as kind of a shout out to Magnus, who she came from. And uh, we're just kind of waiting to see what really they are. I may try to vent them at some point, or what, what she really is. 
and uh, but this one was the best kind of the best prospect I had from all the uh, all the fry that I raised up from Magnus that I got from Mike so so yeah they're doing good they're just in this tank right now until I decide what's gonna go down uh, as far as uh, weeding out uh, weeding out some umbies and hopefully pairing a few off so um, sometimes they're kind of at the divider checking each other out sometimes they're not so um, I don't know we'll see uh, down below got kind of the fry rack going on here and then the planet 75 gallon planet tank below that I've got uh, the Venustis the, that I was selling is two inch they're getting to be about three inch now and then some bigger five to six inch Venustis um, if you're looking for some smaller Venustis I've still got these available for sale hit me up uh, some bigger Venustis I've got three nice males in here and four nice females let me know um, I can get you a good deal uh, next tank over is the Red Devil Fry that I pulled um, probably 40 50 of them in there uh, some of them are feeding off some Southern Delight um, gel food that I made um, I've got about 10 15 or so um, Gorillas fry that I did pull that are in this tank not sure why but I decided I'd pull a few and just see what happens and then more Venusis here these are the ones that I sell as one inch I've um, been selling quite a bit of these lately they're getting to be about one and a half now got a few clown loaches in there too let me know if you need some some smaller Venustis uh, down below is uh, where I'm growing out quite a bit of blicks of japonica and I'm growing out some Anubias um, what else in there um, some AR mini, um, some mosses um, stuff like that uh, some uh, Hygro Polysperma Sunset. I don't know, just some different things kind of growing out. Kind of my grow out tank. Got the uh, Harlequin Rasboras in there and uh, some algae eating uh, fish. Um, so this one's doing decent right now. A little bit of algae here and there. Been working on that. Um, and then across from it is another 75 gallon planted. Got a bunch of Blixa, Limnophilia aromatica, uh, Rotala rotundifolia, what else? some AR mini, some Downoy, and uh, some Saborsa tang and some mosses over here. A couple of some Java fern, what else? Yeah, I don't know, just some basic different things that I'm going to grow out, see what's going on. Then up above here is another rack of smaller tanks. Um, start with this one. I've got uh, just like five or six um, OB Peacock Fry that I saved. Um, she was holding and I was going to remove her to uh, let her spit them out in a, in a tank down here. and. Um, as I was netting her, she spit almost everything out in the big tank, so I wasn't able to save very many. Waited too long. And then uh, one of uh, three shrimp tanks that I've been working on. I've got some Java moss growing out in here. And wow, I just noticed this right now. I got a hitchhiker that came along with the Java moss. You see a red cherry shrimp. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny because the person I bought this Java moss from warned that there could be some some. Uh, I think he said um, smaller uh, Shakura shrimp. So it's the first sighting of this on video. You guys, uh, you guys are the first ones to see it just when I did. So that's kind of cool. But this tank, I've been cycling, and um, the parameters are finally ready to take on shrimp, as a, as are these two. Um, so what I'm planning on probably is this is probably going to be a red really tank, um, carbon really, and crystal red shrimp. Uh, this tank, I got a ton of algae I got to clean up. You can see floating around there, but I've got uh, mini Christmas moss in there. This tank, I've got Saborsa tang and um, some peacock moss behind these uh, oiko stones. So they're they're about ready to go. Um, up here is uh, what's lately been becoming one of my 
favorite tanks to watch are these uh, these Isletus that I'm growing out here. Um, a couple of these guys are really becoming um, nice. Um, got some humpage already going on on this guy. He doesn't want to give me a side profile, but um, they're chowing down the power fee like you wouldn't believe, and uh, they're pretty cool to watch. So excited to hopefully get a couple to pair off in here, and then I'll get rid of the rest of them. Um, but we need them to grow out a little bit, a little bit more first. So that's what's going on with that. Um, so that's basically the basement fish room. I'll just kind of give you guys a, a quick view again of everything. And then we will head upstairs and I'll show you the tanks up there. <coughs> Got the African tank still going. Um, still pretty sure that uh, I'm going to probably get rid of these guys in the near future and do something else here. Just, uh, just not feeling it anymore with the Africans. I still like them, but um, just with what I've been doing, I uh, just kind of want to go a different direction with this tank and be able to free it up for something else. So, but you know, still, still enjoy them um, and having fun with them, I guess, as mu as much as I can. But uh, thinking about uh, basically selling all these off. So, if you are local probably won't ship any of these out. I just don't want to deal with shipping on, on these this size of fish. Maybe I will. I don't know. If anyone's interested in anything in this tank, hit me up and we can work something out. And then finally over to the office. The 150 gallon discus still rolling strong. Um, the carpet's filled in nicely, Blix is filling in nicely, I've got some uh, Rotala Rotundifolia, needs a little haircut, and uh, Hogo Steam and Erectus that also needs to be kind of cut down and repropagated. So that's looking good, and uh, you can see a change in the 90 gallon discus tank that I just did a few days ago. Completely uh, rescaped it. I'm down to three discus in this tank. This this couple here, they've paired off. You can see back, this time they decided to lay on the heater cord, but you can see some fresh eggs that just were laid yesterday. They never make it because all the other fish in here eat them before they can, but they're continuously, like clockwork, uh, um, laying eggs and taking care of them until they hatch. They usually make it to wiggler stage, and then they can't keep, keep them controlled and do a area where the other fish in the tank don't come and eat it but eat them but um, so I used oiko stones in this um, in this tank um, got some of them from my local fish store and some of them I got from uh, Daryl at DET aquarium check out his channel if you haven't he uh, got some really nice shrimp tanks and stuff like that going on right now but I'm gonna just kind of do an S Reppin's carpet in this tank, just like the other. You can see I got a bunch planted, waiting for them to kind of carpet out. Um, and then behind kind of the, the hill area, I've got some Blixa japonica. And I'll probably take a section of this tank over here too, and kind of have like a little a little section of downoy. And then the AR mini, um, I'm gonna get a little bit more of that and kind of let it fill in around the top and kind of work something out there. So it should be fun. Um, 20 gallon red cherry shrimp tank. You can see a little bit of a snail problem going on in here too. Got some hitchhikers uh, from something that I added in here. I'm not sure what and uh, they're all over it down here and on the glass but these guys are eating right now. Um, always fun to watch. Got a few different grades and from a few different people in here. Uh, some of the, the latest shipment I got in, I ordered a, a bunch from a guy that had gotten his off a of Tom Bar. So I've got regular cherries, um, Sakura, and uh, some that are, I can't remember if they're Painted Fire or Taiwan Fire or what, but uh, so kind of a mixture in here. 
so we'll see what kind of uh, breeding we get we get going out of all that and so, um, you know some of the output of shrimp but there's a bunch of them in there and then uh, another shrimp tank is up here these are the uh, blue pearls we got a few of them in the petri dish eating there um, I don't see as many adults in this tank as I once did but there are a ton of uh, shrimplets hanging out Let's see if I can try to find some right now I don't know if you can see down better into the petri dish there but yeah I'm, I'm digging these guys too they're always fun easy to keep and then final shrimp tank is another uh, red cherry shrimp tank apologize for the algae on the glass there but eventually I'll probably take and combine these two red cherry tanks so I can have another breed of shrimp but at this point I'm just kind of keeping them separate because that's the way it is there chowing down here too so but yeah guys that's about what I've got going on right now appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos um, and if you got any questions let me know um, and hopefully I'll uh, get back on track with videos and start doing a little bit more than once every couple of weeks like I've been doing lately but um, I appreciate you guys watching as always I appreciate all the subscribers people that take the time out to watch these videos and make comments and, and hit the like button it really means a lot to me more than you'll ever know so appreciate it guys thanks for watching and take care